Hello and welcome to Brain Chow. This is a very different topic from what we usually talk about on this channel. But some of our very loyal subscribers have been asking us to make some ISRO related videos. And as you people know, we try to listen to our subscribers as much as possible. So today, we will be looking at India's second lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2. ISRO is planning to launch Chandrayaan-2 in April this year. If this mission is successful, India will become the first country ever to land a rover near Moon's South Pole. Before I tell you why this is so special, let's first talk about the history of this project. Chandrayaan-2 was originally going to be a joint venture between India's ISRO and Russia's Roscosmos. In 2007, the two space agencies signed an agreement to work together. This mission has three parts, an orbiter, a lander and a rover. ISRO was supposed to make the orbiter and rover and Russia was going to provide the lander. At that time, India did not have the capability to make soft landing on lunar surface. But Things did not go as planned. Russia was unable to provide us with the lander due to some challenges Roscosmos was facing. In 2015, India decided to develop the whole Chandrayaan-2 mission independently without help from anyone else. And as expected, ISRO was successful in developing the technology. Next, let's talk about rover. The rover weighs around 20 kilograms and has six wheels. It will perform on-site chemical analysis and send the data to the orbiter above which will relay it to Earth. The rover will operate on solar energy and it will be operational for 14 days. Meanwhile, the orbiter will keep orbiting the moon for a full year. The entire mission is expected to have cost India about 800 crore rupees. This amount is lower than the budget of the movie Interstellar. It was made at a cost of slightly more than 1000 crores. This mission will be giant leap for ISRO. Only three countries have previously soft landed a spacecraft on lunar surface. USA, Russia and China. If successful, India will join this elite group of nations. Further, no country has attempted to pull off this daredevil maneuver of landing near South Pole of Moon because it is very tricky region. All other landings have been in the equator region. The rocket which will fly Chandrayaan-2 will be the GSLV Mark II and it will be launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh. Let's hope that this mission turns out to be resounding success and that it puts India on an even higher trajectory in terms of space research. Good luck to ISRO from Brainchow family. That's it for this video. We will be making a video comparing ISRO and Japanese space research agency within a few days. Subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss that video. Thanks for watching Brainchow.